Hey everyone, this 365 Ninja tip is on freezing panes in Excel Online. Now this is the way that you get your top row or your leftmost column to stay static as you scroll. So to do that, you'll go to your View tab. The Freeze Panes drop-down menu here will allow you to either freeze the top row or the first column. Let me show you that first. Freeze the top row. You saw that a sort of darker gray grid line appear and then when I scroll down, that top row stays static. I can also freeze the first column so that when I scroll to the side, that first column stays static. I can use the drop down menu to also unfreeze either one of those panes. And then you also have the option to freeze multiple rows or multiple columns. So you'll use this freeze panes drop down option and see how it says based on current selection. What you'll want to do is select the line right under where you want to freeze. So let's say I want to freeze these top four rows. I'll select something in row five, go to freeze panes, click freeze panes, and you see the gray line appear right above where I've selected. So now my top four rows are frozen. Same thing with columns. Let's say I want to freeze my first four columns. I can even select the entire column, click well, first I'll unfreeze my rows, then I'll click freeze panes, and when I scroll to the side, those first four columns are frozen. So this can really help you with a lot of different kinds of spreadsheets that you might make. I commonly make spreadsheets where I want to freeze the top row of headings, much like in this one. Now, one more quick note, unfortunately, you cannot freeze panes in Excel Online or the Excel web app right now. There's just not a way to do it, but you can open up spreadsheets that have frozen panes, frozen rows or columns in Excel Online and see that those are frozen. So if we ever actually have a way to perform this action in the Excel web app, I will certainly create a video for that. Thanks for watching and please follow 365ninja.com for more tips and tricks.